Hi and welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing two things. First of all, I'm going to be doing a review on the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket. And secondly, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to be giving away one of these, a Trinordic camping mat. But I'll tell you uh, how you can uh, win this Trinordic camping mat a little bit later in the video. But to start, let's look at the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket. Now, uh, Snug Pack as a company has been around since 1977. Um, and back in 1977, uh, although there was a lot of camping equipment out there, it was very bulky and uh, and heavy. And uh, Snug Pack um, thought, let's de design some products um, that are compact and lightweight and hard wearing, but also um, at a at a good price. Um, so their journey began. Um, and if you go on the Snug Pack website, um, you can see all the products they do. They do these blankets, which I'm going to review uh, today. Um, they do sleeping bags, they do jackets, etc, etc. So um, I will leave a link in the description below so you can go and um, have a look at their other products. But today, let's look at the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket. Now they come in two sizes. This is the standard one, and it also comes in a XL size. Um, now they're exactly the same blanket apart from the size and the weight, um, but I will cover the specifications on both. So when you get the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket, it comes in a compression bag. Um, the size of the compression bag for the, uh, the regular size one is 15 centimeters in length, which is about six inches, and 15 centimeters in width, which is six uh, inches again. Um, the weight of the compression bag with the blanket inside is coming in at around 700 grams, which is about uh, 25 ounces. Um, now, the colour of the compression bag is the same colour as the blanket. Now, you can get this blanket um, in three colours. Uh, you can get it in the olive, which is this colour here. They do it in a black and they also do it in a camouflage style, terracotta style colour. So there is a choice of colours there. Now, the size of the regular size blanket, um, the length of it is, is 193 centimetres, which is about 76 inches. And the width is about 163 centimetres, which is about 64 inches. Now, the cost of the standard size uh, Snug Pack Jungle Blanket here in the UK is coming in at around 30 to 35 pounds. Now, as I always say, if you have a good look around, you could find it maybe a little bit cheaper in a sale. And in some places, obviously, you're always going to pay a little bit more. But on an average, it's around the 30 to 35 pound mark. Now, I will get the blanket out in a minute and we can have a look at uh, the blanket itself and how it's made. But just to cover the specs on the XL uh, Snug Pack blanket, first of all, if I just put them next to each other, there's not a huge difference in size. Now, with the XL, once again, it comes in a compression bag. Um, the XL2 comes in a choice of colours of the olive, the black, and the uh, sort of camouflage terracotta style colour. Um, now, the size of the, the, the XL bag, um, it is um, 25 centimetres in length, which is about 10 inches. But the width is the same as the standard bag, which is 15 centimetres or around six inches. Um, now, the weight of the XL, um, you know, including the compression bag and blanket together, obviously, is coming in at a couple of hundred grams more uh, than the standard. So the XL is coming in at 900 grams, which is about 32 ounces now the size of the blanket the length is coming in at around 224 centimeters which is about 88 inches um, and the width 
um, is about 183 centimeters or 72 inches. Now, there's not a lot size wise, um, but what I'm going to say to you is that when I first bought the uh, Snug Pack Jungle Blankets, they only had the standard size in stock. So I bought that and I used it and I found that really big, but um, I still wanted that little bit more coverage. Now I'm six foot two, so um, I bought the Snug Pack XL and I found that was better for me. So uh, as I say, the, the, the blankets are quite generous in size anyway, but I would say if you're up to six foot in height, I would go for the standard blankets. Or if you're over six foot or you just want a bit more coverage, then I would go for the XL. Now the, now the price of the XL is only a five a difference on average to the standard. Uh, the standard was 30 to 35 pound here in the UK, and the XL comes out around 35 to 40 pound. Once again, as I always say, have a look around, you could get a deal. But on an average, looking at various sites, there's generally only a fiver in it. Now, um, before I get the blanket out, let me just uh, talk about the giveaway for a moment. Um, like I say, I'm giving away this uh, fantastic Trinordic camping mat. I'm not going to get it out and, and do a review on it here because I've already done a video on this mat. So if you haven't seen it, go back and um, have a look at the review I did on this Trinordic camping mat. Um, I've had a lot of uh, positive reviews on that video. I've had people personally send me a message saying that how impressed they've been with it. So um, it's definitely a camping mat I would I would uh, recommend, well highly recommend. Um, but I will tell you um, how you can win it um, in a minute. Right, I'm just going to get the blanket out, the snow pack jungle blanket. And when you get it out, what you straight away you get a really nice premium feel, really well made, feels nice and soft, comfortable. When I wrap it around me a little bit, even my arm, I can feel the insulation inside, it's not too bulky, it's fairly thin, but also it feels quite warm at the same time. So I'm impressed with that. Now the whole blanket is made out of a hundred percent polyester. Now, when you look at the blanket, when you get it out the bag, you will find that one side has a kind of shiny coating and the other side has more of a kind of matte finish to it. Now, the, as I say, the whole blanket is made out of 100% polyester. However, the outer is made out of a, a micro uh, diamond ripstop. Now, what that does it makes it durable, so it makes it strong. Um, it also makes it water repellent, so if any water gets on this, it's gonna run off. Now, it's not water resistant, so you wouldn't want this over you in a, in a downpour because it eventually would soak through. But if you've got a little bit of rain on you, a light shower, excuse me, um, or a little bit of water on, or you spilt something on, it should just run straight off. Now, they call it the micro diamond, because I will try and show you, but I don't think you will see it lit up to the camera a bit there but if you might not be able to see that but if you get one of these blankets and you look very closely you can see like a diamond pattern that's like the way it's made and that's to snug packs own specifications so that's the outer now on the on the inside it has a paratex antibacterial um, sort of uh what do you call sort of coating and basically what that does it helps keep your blanket fresher for longer now if you were say camping in the summer and you got really hot and you started sweating and then obviously sweat would say i oh, go onto a blanket or a bag when that sweat did dry you would get a little bit of an odor from it um, but by having this um, antibacterial coating on this blanket it helps um, keep this blanket fresher for longer so um, you don't have to wash it as much. Um, now inside you've got um, the travel soft insulation which is a light insulation uh, nice and soft but it is uh, 
surprisingly warm as well. Now, I actually bought uh, this blanket um, a few months ago when I was camping. I thought I'd give it a go, see if it was any good, and if it was, I'd then do a review on it. Um, now, we were sat outside the tent, and Mrs. Outdoors was getting a bit cold, so she said, I'll get a coat, and I said, oh, hang on a minute, why don't you try this uh, snowpack blanket? Well, she fell in love with it, so uh, she, she uh, adopted that blanket. So I then bought another one for myself, which I managed to get hold of the XL one. I found one night it was quite warm, so I got out my sleeping bag, but I still wanted something over me, so I just put that over me, and it worked an absolute charm. Um, junior outdoors, little outdoors, my daughter, um, she loves the blankets for all occasions anyway, so as soon as she got wind of this blanket, she wanted one. So I actually now have three of these blankets. So obviously, I think um, they, are, they are really, really good. Um, right, um, so that's the blanket, basically. Um, right, let's talk about the giveaway for a moment, because I know some of you are itching to know how you can win this Tri-Nordic camping mat. Right, well... To, to have a chance of winning this uh, Tri Nordic camping mat, what you need to do is go back and watch a video I posted a little while ago. It's only a short video, um, it lasts about 60 seconds, and in that video, there's a plane landing at one of the airports in the UK. Now, uh, the plane will either be landing at Heathrow, Gatwick, Stansted, or Luton, and what you need to do is go and watch that video have a look at the airport in the background and when you think you know which airport it is come back to this video and in the comment section below just right in the bottom um, sort of Heathrow, Gatwick, Luton or Stansted and then in about a month's time give or take a week I will do um, a random draw and this fantastic Tri-Nordic camping mat can be on its way to you. Right so um, my final thoughts on the snug pack jungle blanket well obviously i own three of them so um i think they're fantastic and i highly recommend them um i think it's a great blanket um it comes in it's uh comes in a nice compression bag you get a choice of colors it's uh not badly priced as i said the uh the, the regular size is 30 to 35 pound the XL is 35 to 40, so I don't think that's a lot of money. It's well made, it's lightweight, it's it's compact. Um, you know, the blanket itself, I've already tried. It is incredibly warm. Um, I wouldn't say you would use it in the, the heart of winter, but, you know, if things get um, cool, um, even to chilly, you know, this is going to be uh, more than warm enough for you. Um, it's um, durable. Uh, well made, obviously, as I say. Um, it is water repellent, so any water will get on that will just run straight off, which is great. Um, it also has that antibacterial coating on, so it's going to keep it fresher for uh, for longer. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I highly recommend it. And um, is it uh, the best budget camping blanket out there? I would. I would say uh, quite possibly, um, you know, um, you can use it for so many different um, occasions. Um, so whether you use it a lot or a little, because it's not a lot of money and it's compact and it's light and you can just store it away, I would definitely consider getting one of these blankets um, and add into my uh, camping um, arsenal. Um, but anyway, that's the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you've got any questions or anything you're not sure of, please leave a comment below. I, I always reply to everyone. Don't forget to enter the competition to uh, try and win this Tri Nordic camping mat. Don't forget, go and watch the previous video and then come back to this video and in the bottom right, which airport you think that plane is um, landing at. Um, but until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for watching. If you've already subscribed, really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing, like, share, comment, all that great stuff. Uh, thank you again, and I will uh, see you in the next video.